Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Hey YouTube, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac, y'all. Look, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do is a salmon in the oven, all right? So this is going to be something like a sp uh, spicy garlic um, um, sauced up salmon. And I'm telling you, y'all, this is going to be an easy, simple recipe. And I'm hoping you guys get us a try. So as you can see, we got us a salmon filet, and we do have the skin on this. But you can do this recipe without the skin on it, period, point blank, whatsoever. So this is what I want you to do. I want you guys to come right on over here. Come over here. Come over here. All right. So this is my oven rack. Okay. As you can see, I got some, I got aluminum foil pocket that I didn't fixed up over here. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm going to put my salmon on. If you can see it. And I got it sitting right there on, on my oven rack. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I got me some butter right here. And I just sliced these up. No particular sizes or whatever. I just want to put these butters, put about a couple of, on this here sheet. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do next. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put at least around about, um, what's this, about right now there's six, about eight little patties on here. And why not go ahead and put a little bit more, all right? About one there, about one there. All right, probably get one in the middle. Get it, get it going, all right. So, this is how we got it set up on the sheet right now. I got some butter down here, cut in thin slices, okay? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab one of these. I want this one right here, this yummy. This yummy black and seasoned, all right? Taste of New Orleans. This right here is some good stuff, y'all. Um, I'm telling you some good stuff. You can find this on Instagram. And I'm gonna tell you what, what you could do as well. And if you wanna try this out, if you can see this number right here, if you can see this, there's a phone number and there's a website that you can also try. You see what I'm saying? I found these people on Instagram. Good stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. All right, so what I'm going to do, take some of this yummy seasoning, and I just want to sprinkle it right here because this is going to be the skin side down. As you can see it. All right? Skin side down. Like I say, I'm not making a uh, judgment on how much I'm putting. I'm just putting enough. You feel me? All right, so we got that. Next thing I want to put on that is some of this here, garlic pepper, Lowry's, garlic pepper coarse blend. I just want to put a little bit of that on the bottom as well. And I got my oven cranked up right now at 450 degrees. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take this salmon, as you can see the skin on, and I just want to bring it, get off of that, get off that. I'm gonna bring it right on up over here. And just lay it right down. Just slide it over a little bit. Yeah, that's where I want it. Let's get this back on the rack, hold on. I gotta do, I'm working with one hand, y'all. Holding the phone with one hand and moving around, doing everything else with the other one. So if I'm shaking all over the place, I want y'all to forgive me, you feel me? All right, so now we got that on there. Now, what I'm gonna end up doing, is I want to take some of this here blackened seasoning again, all right? And I just want to sprinkle it right on top. Get it all up on there. This is going to be some good stuff right here. I'm going to make a sauce to put on this as well. And this is going to be real good. And I'm not being shy with this here seasoning, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm not. Then I'm going to take some of this here garlic pepper. All right, excuse my hands, and just do that right yonder. Put some of that on there. All right, now I want to take some of this here Spain spices all in one. Y'all know I love Spain spices. Just put a little bit on that, and this meat is going to be seasoned, flavor to the tea, and it's going to be good. 
Now I'm gonna take some of this Spain spicy sweet basil. Yes, sweet, sweet basil. And just hit it on top. All right. Then I wanna take some of this here parsley. Take some parsley. Do the same thing. Sprinkle that parsley right on top. Last but not least, I wanna take some of my garlic that I got here. And I just Add your garlic and thin slices of butter on top of the filet. All right, so right now I got it in the oven. All right, so it's in the oven right now on the rack. I told you this was a good way to put it back in here to transport it. I got my little tray, makeshift old Luma 4 tray, and got it in the oven at 450 degrees. I'm gonna set that in there for about 12 to 15 minutes. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and make this sauce up so I got some ketchup. I got my old little trusty um, sauce pan right there that I'll be grilling on, so I got some ketchup. And I'm gonna leave the measurements at raymaxkitchenandgrill.com so you can find the measurements there. All right, and then I got some of this here sriracha, some sriracha sauce, y'all. Just for a little bit of heat, just a little bit. Not too much, but that's enough. That'll work. And then I'm gonna take in and put in some of this here soy sauce, all right? Hit it with a little soy sauce. And then I wanna hit it with just a little bit of this here hot sauce. If you want light so hot sauce, then use light hot sauce. You don't have to use the same hot sauce that I use. Then I got some olive oil, put some olive oil in that. Yeah, a little bit more olive oil. And then I wanna go ahead and hit it with some of this Frank Sweet um, chili. All right, get a little bit of that in there. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay, let's mix this baby up. And before I do that, now I'm gonna take in some chili. I mean some garlic, put some garlic in there. Now I want to go ahead and mix everything up. Now let me go ahead. All right, got my chili all mixed up. I want to get this on the stove and heat it up just a little bit and we'll salt our salmon with this. Be right back. All right, so right now it's been 12 minutes and I just want to go ahead and baste this salmon with this sauce and don't judge my, don't judge my oven. Sauce is delicious. On point. Y'all need to try this, man. Recipe be on raymaxkitchenandgrill.com. Looking good in there, y'all. I put the sauce on it. Now the time is set. Now I'm finna take it out. I'm about to take it on out. So it's done right now. That's how it's looking. And it smells so good up in here so good okay YouTube so our salmon is done all right and it smells delicious up in here okay so I'm telling you give this recipe a try it's quick I let it cook in the oven for at least around about a good 12 to 15 minutes so at the 12 minute mark I set the um I went on and I put the sauce on it let it cook for the rest of the um duration of the time Internal temperature is 140 degrees. That's what you want to do. Test it at 140 degrees. Once it hit, pull your salmon out because it's ready to eat once it hit 170 degrees. Then I also made up some of this here asparagus with some um, cheese on it, some oven roasted asparagus with cheese. I'm telling you y'all, this is gonna be a good meal. But this is something I didn't make homemade. Instant mashed potatoes. I don't know about y'all, man, but you don't have to do everything homemade. You feel me? All right, so give this recipe a try and that's definitely going to be on a video you know what I'm saying um, you should be able to check the video out I don't know when I'm going to post it. it might be posted before the salmon video but it's going to be posted you will love this recipe and I'm telling you definitely try this this is a winner alright so I'm about to get down on this plate y'all and I'm going to check y'all out later thank you for checking out Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill I love you guys peace